March 15, 1972, with the Vietnam War winding down, the San Diego VA hospital opened its doors in La Jolla. Dr. Arnold Gass remembers that first year. So I first walked into this building October 2nd, 1972. It had been open for seven months as an emergency because of the fact that the Sepulveda VA had suffered damage from an earthquake. The VA had clinics in San Diego, but before 1972, San Diego veterans used a naval hospital or they had to be sent to VA hospitals north of the county. Back then, the challenge was to adapt to the Vietnam vets who saw the VA as an extension of the war effort. But Vietnam veterans have come here. Special programs were instituted as a result of them. Uh, Agent Orange program, the notion that environmental hazards are problematic for veterans, and these things have all evolved out of the agitation and the political presence of the Vietnam era veterans. Post 9-11 veterans are forcing another change in the system. This group of vets are 20 percent female and more diverse. The VA has been struggling to convince female veterans that they are welcome at the VA. Ironically, the day before the 50th anniversary of the San Diego VA, President Biden signed a bill naming the hospital for Captain Jennifer Moreno. The 25-year-old army nurse was killed in Afghanistan. It'll be a place in which people should remember why it's called the veterans facility and why we need to take care of veterans of all types, all genders, all gender choices. That's what's gonna happen for me. The San Diego VA is the first VA in the country named after a woman veteran of color. Steve Walsh, KPBS News.